is out at Cayucas today where skies have cleared out. This is a live webcam picture from KSBY.com's webcam network. And if you head out there, you'll get a surfline forecast in case you plan to get in the water. Be informed first. Here's what's going on in San Luis Obispo. Pretty nice day. Winds are up though. 67 degrees, 65 Santa Maria, 86 right now in Paso Robles, 63 in Lompoc and 69 in Santa Barbara. The big storyline today is that those interior temperatures did jump back up into the upper 80s already. It's interesting when you take a look at the seven day here, not so much for coastal areas, but inland areas, a bit of a roller coaster as we go through the weekend into early next week. Take a look at that. Here it is back into the 80s and then mid 90s for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Winds right now are anywhere between about five to 10 miles per hour in places like Paso Robles and Santa Barbara, but upwards of 20 and 25 miles per hour in Lompoc, San Luis and in Santa Maria. Microclimate model with all that wind mixes out the marine clouds during the afternoons, but night and morning clouds are possible as we get into Friday and Saturday as well. But I really think we're going to have so much breeze over the next couple of days that uh, I think we're going to see plenty of sunshine. A little cold front goes through the area between Friday night and Saturday, and that's going to really crank up the wind Saturday afternoon into Sunday, especially across Santa Barbara County. More on that coming up as well. So pass the rubbles tomorrow into the lower 90s for daytime highs like today. Not much wind early and quite a bit of breeze late. San Luis Obispo temperatures into the upper 70s already tomorrow, but this is no trend. Again, we're going to see these temperatures increasing tomorrow, but then a cold front late tomorrow night will start to bring temperatures back down. You can see, in fact, that afternoon wind is going to be up at 20, 25 miles per hour, maybe even gusting to 30 in Santa Maria temperatures in the mid 70s. Here is that transitional trough of low pressure swinging into the west for Saturday into early Sunday. But after that, high pressure builds in warming things, especially in the interior on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. A little trough in here will start to cool us down a bit late next week. This is a look at our current pattern. You can see this big bend upward in the jet stream. A couple of advisories. We did have the air quality warning in the Napomo Mesa area. As the winds pick up again, that's going to be reissued going into the weekend. And a fire weather watch across Santa Barbara County. I think winds are going to pick up dramatically as we get into Saturday and Sunday. So winds 20 to 40 gusting to 60. That's going to be upgraded to a red flag warning. More big thunderstorms across Wyoming again today in parts of southern Montana. There you can see the activity there and more as uh, developing north of Dallas and pushing into the Dallas metro area right now. This is Hurricane Aletta, winds 75 miles per hour. This system will get into cooler water and ultimately die, but there's going to be another tropical system forming in its wake. It'll be named Bud, and the leftovers of that system could sneak into Southern California late next week for an increase in some mugginess, but I don't think it's going to actually produce real rainfall here, but just something to watch down the road. 93 Paso, 79 Santa Barbara and San Luis tomorrow, 74 in Santa Maria, 70 in Lompoc. Santa Inez Valley temperatures mid 80s and Cuyama Valley as well. South Coast really nice near 80 tomorrow. Again, afternoon winds will be an issue and a lot of these daytime highs will occur about noon and one o'clock before significant afternoon wind pulls these temperatures back. 91 to Tascadero, 94 San Miguel. Your extended forecast kind of set it and forget it across uh, Santa Barbara County, warming to about 85 Sunday in Santa Barbara. But again, to note that Paso Robles in North County has kind of a swing moving up tomorrow down for the weekend with some wind, but warming Monday and Tuesday. It wouldn't shock me to see these temperatures rise to near 100 degrees. Richard.